Welcome to Linux help tutorial. In this session you are going to see about the difference and the comparison of network configuration by using if config and IP. First I am going to display all the network interfaces in Linux by using if config command. For that you need to type if config in the terminal. Here you can able to see the network interfaces of this system by using if config command. Now I am going to show you the network interface information by using IP command. For that command is IP space A. Here you can able to see the network information of your system by using IP command. Here you can able to see the IP address my, of my system is 7.123. Now I am going to assign IP address to my system to the interface ETH0 by using if config command. For that if config space the connection name ETH0 space add space the IP address and press enter now it has been added successfully now I'm going to show you here you can able to see the subdivision 0 has been created with a new IP address 5.123 now I'm going to remove this newly added IP address for that command is if config space eth0 the connection name space del space the IP address and press enter now the address has been get removed now I'm going to show to you here you can able to see the IP address has been get removed now I'm going to do the same process by using IP for that IP space A space add here you need to mention the IP address space DEV and here you need to mention the interface name and press enter now it has been get added I'm going to show to you here you can able to see another one IP address has been get added 5.123 IP space A DEL and the IP address space the DEV space the interface name and press enter it will be showing a warning message to you you just ignore it and I'm going to display and show you IP space A. Here you can able to see the IP address has been get removed. Now I am going to add a MAC address to my network interface. Before that I am going to show you my old MAC address. Here you can able to see the MAC address. Now I am going to change my MAC address. For that command is if config space the connection name space hw space eth er space the mac address and press enter now the mac address has been get changed here you can able to see the mac address has been changed to 89 before it was 67 now i'm going to show you how to add mac address by using ip for that command is ip space link space set space dev space the interface name space address space the mac address and press enter now the mac address has been get changed now i'm going to show to you here you can able to see the mac address has been changed to 99 before it was 89 now i'm going to show you the other configuration of the network interfaces First, I am going to set the value for MTU. Now, I am going to show you the default value for MTU. 
here you can able to see the default value of MTU is 1500 now I'm going to change it as 2500 for that if config space make a face name space MTU space 2500 and press the enter now it has been get changed I'm going to show you here you you can able to see that MTU has been changed to 2500 now I am going to change the MTU value by using IP method for that IP space link space SCT space DEV space the interface name space MTU space now I am going to change it as 3000 and press enter now it has been get changed now I am going to show to you here you can able to see it has been changed to 3000 now I am going to show you how to enable the multicast flag for that command is if config space the interface name space multicast now the multicast flag has been assigned to that interface now I am going to show to you here you can able to see up broadcast multicast running for enabling multicast flag by using IP for that command is IP space link space SET DEV space the connection name ETH0 space multicast sorry it's multicast space, space ON on now it has been changed by using IP method now I am going to change the transmission queue length before that I am going to show you the transmission queue length for that if config here you can able to see the transmission queue length is 1000 by default now I am going to change it as 1500 by using if config method for that if config space the interface name space tx uelen space 1500 and press enter now it has been get changed now I am going to show to you here you can able to see it has been changed to 1500 now I am going to change the transmission queue length by using IP for that command is IP space link space set space TEV space interface name space now I am going to set it as 2500 now it has been get changed now I am going to show to you here you can able to see the value has been changed to 2500 now I am going to enable the pro SQS mode for that command is if config space interface name space pro MISC now it has been enabled the pro SQS mode here you can able to see the pro SQS mode has been enabled by using IP link for that command is IP space link space SCT space DEV space the interface name space pro misc sorry pro misc space ON now it has been get changed now I am going to enable multicast mode to all for that if config space the interface name space all multi and press enter now it has been enabled all multicast mode for seeing if config it has been changed to all multi by using IP for IP space link space set space DEV space ETH0 space all multi space ON this command is used to enable all multicast mode by using IP command now I am going to show you how to up and down the interfaces by using if config and IP command before that I am going to show you the interfaces here you can able to see both the interface ETH0 and LO loopback now I am going to down the ETH0 interface for that command is 
if config eth0 down now the interface has become down now I'm going to show to you here you can able to see only the loopback because the interface eth0 has been get downed now I'm going to up the connection for that if config eth0 up now the interface has been get up now I'm going to show to you here you can able to see the interface eth0 has become get active now I'm going to disable and enable the interface by using IP before that I'm going to show to you the interfaces IP space A here you can able to see the two interface loopback and the eth0 interface now I'm going to down the eth0 interface for that IP space link space set and the interface name and down now the interface has been get down I'm going to show to you here you can able to see near the interface eth0 it has been changed to 10 to 2 before that there was nothing now I'm going to up the link for that IP space link space set eth0 the interface name space up now it has been get up now I'm going to show to you here you can able to see the word 22 has been get disappeared now I'm going to show how to enable ARP protocol for that command is if config space interface name space ARP now the ARP protocol has been get enabled for disenabling the ARP protocol for that command is if config space eth0 space hyphen er and press enter now it has been get disenabled now I'm going to show you how to enable and disenable ARP protocol by using IP for that IP link space set dev space interface name space ARP space on now the interface has been get on for ARP protocol for disenabling IP space link space set dev space interface name space arp space off now the interface for arp protocol has been get disenabled thank you for watching